Today we're going to be reviewing set 75361, the spider tank. Starting with the minifigures, we have Mando. This is the same version of Mando that we got in the TIE Interceptor versus Fang Fighter set. He has great printing, the same dark saber that we've already gotten on May 4th. Overall, a really solid character, although we have gotten a ton of Mandos in the past. For Grogu, he's exactly the same as we've been getting for several years at this point. A new outfit would have been nice here, but he's still the same Grogu we've been getting. I would have loved to see them incorporate his floating stroller thing in this set but they didn't even though he had it in the show in this scene. Moving on to Bo-Katan. She is by far the best part about this set for me. This character is straight up a 9.9. .9. Lego truly went above and beyond with this minifig. She has amazing arm printing, very accurate, has the same gunmetal gray jetpack that we've seen Compared to the Clone Wars variant of Bo-Katan that we got a couple years ago, she absolutely blows her out of the water. This new version also comes with a newer hairpiece. The older version's hairpiece was a little bit awkward and kind of weird looking, but this new hairpiece is amazing. I am stunned. And now finally, on to Mr. Krabs. Unhand that penny or the arm comes off! The most noticeable feature of the spider tank is these front claws that it has that you can move around with a ball joint. These claws are big enough to pick up a minifig, so you can have a minifig in each hand and just cause terror throughout the galaxy. On top we have a little compartment that opens and reveals these stud shooters so that you can blast your foes from a distance. One really unique part to this build are these really awesome rubber pieces that they've utilized. These kind of give like a springy feeling to the build, a nice rubber feeling when you push down it bounces right back up. It really just adds a ton to the playability and the feel of this set. That is really cool. There are a few inaccuracies with this build, starting off with the color. In the show, it clearly has like a rusty brown kind of color. That would have been nice to see them incorporate in some way in this build, instead of just the average Star Wars dark bluish gray. They could have even done something similar to the Captain Rex ATTE from Rebels, which basically just has like one brown rusty looking leg. They could have scattered some rusty looking parts and mixed it in with the dark bluish gray. I think that could create a really cool design. The little cage that Mando gets trapped in in the show is also missing. It would have been a great play feature to have incorporated that some way. Then last but not least, what would have been more eye-popping than if they included the little kraken creature that lives inside? That would be absolutely amazing. Overall, I think that this build is way more fun than I thought it would be. It's definitely great for kids, has a lot of play function, you can terrorize your minifigs. It's really cool actually. And now the absolute most important thing, swooshability. Zero out of the ten. Overall, the spider tank is way cooler than I thought it would be when I saw the initial reveal. This set retails for about $50. Technically, it doesn't come out until August 1st, but I got it at Kohl's really easily. They don't have street dates or anything. But this set, I would say, is absolutely worth the $50. I would rate it at about an 8.7 out of 10. If you do want to get the spider tank, I'll have an affiliate link to Amazon in the description below. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.